Hey everybody, the fitted fool is back and better than ever. Where has he been? Not far. Or maybe he has been. Who knows? Let's cut out all the bullshit and get into it. Okay. Hat number one in this video. This is a Cincinnati Reds hat. Um, as you can well, see, you got the C right there. It also kind of looks like lamps. And now according to the tag inside here, it is from the year, uh, the season 1900. So this was uh, 73 years before I was born. None of my grandparents were even born yet, nor my great aunt. Uh, and then there's the uh, Cooperstown Collection logo in there. And then it is obviously made by American Needle. It is size 7 and 5 8. So now you know my hat size in case anybody was uh, wondering that. So it is a uh, blue with a red, which makes sense. Cincinnati Reds. And then you have the... Uh, green uh, underbill on the cap here now uh, i am a yankees fan i'm not a reds fan i don't have any uh, ill will at the reds i guess one might think i should have a grudge for the 1976 world series where they swept the yankees but um if you don't play well and you get swept in the world series that's you know that, that's what that's your fault what are you gonna do i i, I don't know so uh and also, in 1977, the first ever Major League Baseball game I ever saw was the Philadelphia Phillies and the Cincinnati Reds, the old vet. And I still have the ticket stub, uh, which ironically was one year to the day before my wife was born. So uh, that was September 3rd, 1977. Now I guess you know my wife's birthday. So uh, that's coming up soon. Don't be cheap. Buy her a present. Yeah. So she just said, yeah. So anyway, here's the 1900 Cincinnati Reds hat. Uh, I really like this one, especially to see. It looks like kind of old school lamps or, or something there. So I, I like, and I like retro hats. So now here is a hat that's near and dear to my heart. This is my Camden River Sharks hat. Um, Camden, New Jersey, where the River Sharks one play, wet, one, once played is the uh, city I was born in. So once upon a time, the city I was born in uh, had a minor league baseball team. And here you have the uh, C, and then there's a shark bite in the C, and the hat is blue, and the bill is red, and underneath it's also red. And uh, this is a flex fit. And um, there's the inside of the tag. I, I don't have my glasses on. I don't know what it says. But uh, there, you can read that and see what it says. Or, or you know, there you go. And on the back, it says Sharks. Uh, now, uh, many years, in 2008, I got to see the River Sharks play against the uh, Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. And, and um, it was nice that Camden had its own minor league baseball team, and it was right by the Ben Franklin Bridge. So, uh, and Paco, the train that goes from South Jersey to Philadelphia, goes over to the side of the bridge. So you're watching a ball game, but you can also watch the train go over the bridge. You can watch the traffic go over the bridge. You can look over this way and see the Delaware River. Uh, you know, I could look over that way and see the hospital I was born. And so, this was great. Um, but then, I don't know, there was some dispute between the uh, city of Camden uh, and uh, the team with the, is in regarding the, the rent for, for the baseball stadium. Or there, there was some, I don't know. Um, so uh, there went baseball in Camden. The Camden River Sharks had uh, moved up to New Britain, Connecticut or something where I think they're called the New Britain Bees now or something. Um, I don't know. I, uh, you know, I got no use for the New Britain Bees because that was my team when they were the River Sharks. So whatever they're doing up there, uh, I don't know. But uh, they were in the Atlanta, Le Atlanta League. Mm. Atlantic League. Uh, and uh, so this, you know, and uh, they had to be an independent team, if I'm not mistaken, because they would have had to pay money to the Phillies for operating in their territory or if they were affiliated with somebody, I don't know. But, uh, so they played at Camden, I cannot talk today, Campbell's Field, right there in Camden, New Jersey, uh, not too far away from where I was born. So actually, I think now, yeah, if you look this way, it's the Delaware River, that way was a bridge. Actually, that over that way was the hospital where I was born. So, and how about that? So I was like, hey, the town I was born in has, um, minor league baseball team now they don't but I still have the hat and I still wear it and uh, I'm 
I'm not getting rid of it, I'm not selling it, and sometimes I still wear it. So this is my Canman River Sharks hat, and I like that the, the C has a, a shark bite. Uh, I should have bought another one of these and mailed it to a friend of mine named Jane. She's terrified of sharks, but uh, I don't know how much, well, these hats are probably, I don't know, they're probably rare and going for a fortune now, I don't know. You're not getting mine. And uh, lastly here is the Pittsburgh Pirates. Would you say this is mustard yellow or gold over there? Are you talking to Yes, me? mustard yellow or gold. Mustard yellow. Uh, so anyway, this is a uh, mustard yellow. My, uh, my eyesight's a little wonky, so my colors, looking at colors is kind of off. So this is my mustard yellow uh, Pittsburgh Pirates hat. Now, this is actually a size 7 and 3 fourths, which is one size too big. So there's probably someone out there that was looking for a 7 and 3 fourths hat that could be a little pissed off. But I like this hat so much, and I was in Ross, and they had it for like $8.99. I'm like, oh, that's a really nice hat. I'm going to get it. So uh, anyway, as you can see here, it's uh, the mustard yellow all the way around. There's the, uh, the Batterman logo back there, I guess you would call it. Uh, this doesn't even have the new era flag on the side anywhere that's odd usually they have that on there uh, but uh, it's in there and then there's the seven and three fourths uh, and uh, there's that and then uh, there's um, the 5950 under there so I like this hat so much it's one size too big uh, next month I'm going up to Philadelphia to see the Phillies versus the Pirates and I guess if I wanted to be a butthead I could wear a Pirates hat to the Phillies game but I'm actually going to wear one of my Phillies hats because it's the last day of the season. It's Fan Appreciation Day and they'll probably be giving stuff out. I'd like to, you know, walk out of there with a prize or something. And I figure if I'm wearing a Pirates hat, I'm probably not going to walk out of there with a prize. I might walk out of there with a beard dumped on my head or a, a foot up my ass or something. Or some sort of verbal abuse. And I would expect nothing less of Philadelphia. I consider myself an honorary Philadelphian. I love Philadelphia. I like the Philadelphians. Uh, you know, especially the ones that were booing sand and throwing snowballs at them. That's funny, if you ask me. Now, not everyone's going to find that funny, I guess, but I don't know. It was December. There was snow. The, the Eagles were playing like shit. Uh, uh, you know, and I know about football teams playing like shit. I'm a Jets fan. Uh, so, you know, they were irate. And I, you know, they were, you know, take your frustrations out on Santa. You know, hey, it's Santa, it's Christmas. Can you give me a good football team? No, no, no. So they threw the snow, snow, snow. So, you know, all Santa had to do was bring the people of Philadelphia a good football team that year, and he might not have been getting hit with the snow. So, you know, that's on him. You're flying around all over the world. And furthermore, what was Santa doing fucking around at the football stadium when he should have been out getting ready delivering presents? You know, this is probably a week or two before Christmas. you got to fly around the whole world, buddy. You know? Get your AA, your AAA magazines out and start planning this fucking trip. You gotta feed those reindeer and you know, all that stuff. And uh, figure out a way to get all those presents uh, for every boy and girl in the world into that little sleigh. I tell you, that story has so many holes in it. <laughs> I guess if little kids are watching this, you know there's no sin. But if little kids are watching this, well, too bad. You, grown, you, you just grew up a little sooner now, didn't you? So, uh, I guess I'm the Grinch that ruined Christmas for you. And P on this hat stands for <laughs> So, <laughs> so anyway, but, uh, yep, so I think the, 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 the pirates have very nice hats. I have several pirates hats, as uh, you will discover as the, uh, weeks and days and months and years or whatnot go on. And, uh, so, you know, mustard brown, and I like, or mustard yellow, and I like mustard. I have it on most of my sandwiches. Uh, you know, when I go to Subway, uh, depending on what the sandwich is, if I get the steak and cheese, I don't get mustard. But if I get, like, ham or something, I get mustard and Parmesan, and that's it. So they must like me, because they're charging the same amount, but using less ingredients, so that's a higher profit margin. So they gotta, they're probably excited when they see me coming in the door. Hey, here comes a guy that doesn't get any ingredients. He just comes in here and uh, you know, it's a little mustard and lots of Parmesan cheese. Uh, we're, we're way ahead on this one. Of course, then if my wife's there with me, uh, she'll counterbalance it out because she gets like, uh, I don't know, onions and lettuce and tomatoes and 
Parmesan cheese and the vinegar and all sorts of stuff. So she probably counterbalances the profit margin, but I'm sure it's all figured in the expenses and the price anyway, unless the people running the business are incredibly stupid, which I wouldn't rule out of the realm of possibility. There have been many stupid business people, and I'm sure, I'm sure. If I were a business person, I would be a stupid business person, but I'm not because I know I would be, so I'm not. That way I can't be because I'm not because I know I would be, so I won't be, so I'm not. So anyway, in review, work that one out, choice. Mustard, yellow, and black Pittsburgh Pirates hat. One size too big because I like the hat so much. $59.50. And uh, there's the black under there and the panels and all that. And a... Uh, Camden River Sharks hat, who are now the New Britain Bees, uh, minor league. Uh, they were independent in the Atlantic League. Uh, so they, they, I think they were around until about uh, 97 or, no, maybe 2000. I, I should know this. I think 2001 to like 2015. I can't remember. Uh, I know I got a pennant over there that I've had since at least 2002. And then this is the uh, 1900 Cincinnati Reds hat. So this is Cooperstown collection stuff. Um, uh, you know, now and then when I used to go to my eye doctor, the, the one of the ones that worked there was a Reds fan. So if I had this on, uh, you know, she'd be like, hey, you know, she'd be excited because she had a Reds hat on. Because uh, she was from uh, Cincinnati. So that makes sense. She's a Reds fan. Um, but then things don't always make sense. I grew up in South Jersey. I'm a Yankees fan. I'm a Jets fan. I like the Devils and the Islanders. You would think I like the Flyers and Eagles and all that. But, uh, you know, someone's got to be a little different and float up the river. Why not me? Up the river, up the turnpike, up the academy, up the irons, through the teeth, round the gums, look out, go it, here it comes, and stay tuned for the next episode of The Fitted Hat Fool. I'm the fool, the hats are fitted. Thanks for watching.